wake up. I'm talking. Since I lived in LA, I've spent about $200,000 on just living. It's just like, nah, I'm not tripping for real. Like, I'm really not tripping. Like, it's just crazy. People that I have showed up for time and time again. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? What's tea? What's popping? It's your girl, Nicole. Happy Nicole and his mom. How are y'all doing? I know it's been such a minute. Have I mean, I did post a little update video a while ago. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at the mirror, and if my hair don't lay perfect, it's starting to irritate me, and I just gotta stop to, like, you know? Okay, it is. I'm gonna stop looking at it. But anyway, y'all, it's been a minute since I sat down and talked to you guys for real, for real. So today is one of them videos. It's one of them videos where it's gonna be real teethful, real shysty. No, I'm just kidding. It's just gonna be very like I don't know. It's just gonna tell y'all and let y'all know kind of what's been going on. What's like whoa, 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 pump the brakes on them. Like I ride bikes type type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just to fill y'all in on what's been going on. So as y'all can see by the title, like I said, we finna get into the nitty gritty real quick. We finna get down to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight EMs in my bank account. We finna get down and dirty with this shit okay so without further ado we gonna get right into it make sure y'all follow me on the gram all that good stuff um go check out this hair video that i did i installed and styled this wig with myself did the makeup look in a vlog and then i did a different makeup look with my straight hair so go ahead and check those out as well or just hit the notification bell so if it's not up by the time this is up you'll know when it's up and when it's stuck and when it's he is here okay on the hair and stuff okay so anyway yeah we're gonna get right into it again don't forget to follow me subscribe to the channel we got all new stuff coming better listen just buckle up get your popcorn i'm moving in silence i'm just gonna pow 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 one two three on y'all asses y'all not even gonna notice it it's gonna come crazy at you like a boomerang okay all right without further ado we're gonna get right into the video okay Every nigga get to the money like a bum fucker, like a bum fucker, like a bum fucker. Every nigga get to the money like a bum fucker, like a bum fucker. Bitches always on some bummy shit, that shit getting old Knock them down like some dice, sit back, watch it unfold. I ain't fucking with them bitches, cause them bitches get so Okay, so to make this easy, I went ahead and put up on my story. Oh my god, if you guys want to ask me anything, da 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 Y'all know your girl just left the puck out of LA. So, I'm going to my archive story to pull up y'all questions. And I'm going to put up a question, a little post right now, just in case anybody missed it. Alright, you guys, so you asked for the updated Q&A, the life update kind of situation. I'm filming it right this second. If you want to ask me anything last minute that you didn't ask yesterday, or if you missed the post from yesterday, leave it under this post for me. We're gonna try to get it uploaded tonight. In the meantime, while we're waiting for them questions to roll in, we're gonna go to the post from yesterday, like I said. Let's see, let's see. If you could be featured on a song with any celebrity right now, who would you choose and why? I would choose come on. If you don't know this answer, then you don't you don't really know me for real. Like, come on, y'all. Onika Tanya Mirage. Stay with me now. Onika Tanya Mirage. Okay? I am a bulb for life. Okay, stop playing with the bobs at bob. Yo, and then you want you want me to be honest with you? Like, let me hit this for, for Bia. Now I don't influence you guys to do this. Don't do this. I'm about to get off of these for real, cause it just it, it needs to stop. But anyway, Bia, I'm living through her right now. Like, whole lot of money. With the queen, I've been loving that song. And then just for my favorite artist to jump on it, it's just everything right now. Like, the way Nicki genuinely grabs headed towards Bia and just loved her, it's like, oh my God, I want that for me one day. And if it doesn't happen, it's okay. I still love the queen, but it is gonna happen. We just gonna manifest it, you know what I mean? We just gonna manifest it. And then one day I'm gonna come back to this video like, hmm, yup, manifestation is real. So yeah. Another one would definitely be Drake. Another one would definitely be Cardi. Um, a def another one would definitely be Lil Babe. Definitely want a song with Chant, Cali, Ruby Rose. So the, 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 the list kind of goes on, but the ultimate, ultimate one, the queen, period, point blank. Um, what's one thing you learned about living in LA? Okay, a lot of the questions are based around LA. 
So let's really talk about that because this is a life update as well. So I'm gonna like dip into questions and kind of tell you guys what was going on with that. So, I mean, really, if you want me to be honest, while scrolling through all these questions, a lot of these questions are asking how I've been mentally, why I moved out of LA, why you guys don't see me around certain people. So let's get into the like little questions that have nothing to do with the LA, the circle I've been around and where I'm moving to. I'm gonna get to that at the end of the video. Right now, let's get into the other basic questions. Someone said, do you collab with other smaller channels? If not, why? I haven't lately. I haven't been on my YouTube back for real lately, you guys, but I will be back on it and I am opening to um, collabing with smaller um, channels or smaller people. There's nothing wrong with that, so I definitely consider that. Someone said, can you give me some tips on how I can grow my social media and make more money? One thing that I could say about social media that I have learned that is a major key alert to doing that shit is really staying consistent. It's definitely about consistency, consistency, consistency. You gotta look at social media, you gotta look at your posts, your videos, your content, like a lottery ticket. When you buy more lottery tickets, you're giving yourself a bigger chance to win the lottery. So you gotta look at it like that. The more pictures you're posting, the more you're giving Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, or whatever have you, the opportunity to put you in the algorithm or to put you out there for people to see you. If you're posting barely, then there's not gonna be much to do, especially when the post you're posting once a month. Okay, you post in the middle of the month, why would they go advertise your post from the beginning of the month at the end of the month or in a new month? So you gotta be consistent. Like that's the main thing I could tell everybody. Now don't look off of other people's growth because that's not ever gonna inspire you because sometimes people grow overnight. Some people grow in five years. Some people grow in 10 years. I'm still growing. I'm not nowhere where I wanna be at. I would love to be at a million by now. I feel like I'm really slept on, underrated, but my time is gonna come when my time comes. And when it comes, <laughs> <clears throat> it's over for y'all like y'all can sleep now but when it's time to wake up it's gonna be time to wake up shut it up wake up i'm talking okay that's that's just what it's gonna give period but that's the main thing i could say stay consistent don't stress yourself out about big expensive equipment because you can do everything off your phone my good bro DDG said it himself. He make 100 bands a month off of his phone. He vlog on his phone, he edit on his phone. The technology that's getting better and better, you don't need a vlog camera, expensive editing software. Just need your phone, prop it up, do what you gotta do. When you start to make bread for real, then you can invest in yourself. But until you make bread, don't go break the bank and trying to invest in yourself. Think that's, no, start first, make good quality. Don't make, don't let it be blurry and pixelated like an old ass iPhone 4 and iPhone 2. But make sure you are in good lighting. I would say invest in lighting because lighting is going to take your videos to another level. For sure. Okay. When you live with your mom, did you argue a lot? Yes. Because when you live under your parents' roof, it's like you have to abide by their rules or at least consider what they're saying because it's their house. And I understand that now because I had a lot of mofos in and out of my crib, living in my crib, and I get what my mama and my daddy was saying. Like, you're not gonna be in my house slamming doors. You're not gonna be in my house not following my rules. You're not about to be in my house kicking your dirty feet up on my couch and leaving dishes in my sink? Like, no, 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 I get it now. It's so crazy when you're an adult, you see everything your parents was tripping on you about and why? It makes so much sense. Like, sometimes you gotta see stuff for yourself. Like, there'd be things my mom and my dad would tell me like, all the time, like, oh, do 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 or do 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 this, that, and the third. And I'd be like, one ear out the other, and then now I'm like, wow. It makes so much sense. Okay, so somebody asked, are you and Diamond Nicole cordial? I noticed y'all had a few parties in LA and hanging with the same people. To be honest, we I, I never told you, and I don't know if she's expressed this, but me and her talked it out back in the summer. Um, I saw her and I went up to her and I confronted her about the last thing that I had a problem about. We talked it out. It's no bad blood anymore. Time heals all wounds. I don't have no... It will towards that girl. I have seen her at a couple parties. She was at um, a party that I was hosting before. She came up to me, we hugged, it was cool. I don't talk to her on a day-to-day -day basis at all. Yes, she do be around when I be around in LA, but it, it's no bad blood, it's nothing. It's, it's, it's just, it is what it is. Me and her, we talked it out. It is what it is. I wish her the best and that's that. Um, what's your favorite place you travel and why? Honestly, right now the only place that I could say is my favorite and just enjoying and I know I have so and I know I have so much more to travel and see, I will say is Atlanta and Miami. I just have my most funnest moments there. But I definitely want to go out the country. 
Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of everything and what's going on. Okay, so a lot of people are asking why I left LA. There's so many factors as to why I left LA. Um, I'll start off real quick with saying maybe the pros and cons. Well, you'll see it towards the end of the video. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just I don't want to say too much, but I want to tell you what's going on without saying too much. You feel what I'm saying? So I will say for one, initially when moving to LA, I told myself I wanted to be in LA for two, three years tops because I know I wanted to live in Atlanta, Miami, um, in LA those were like my top three places that I know I wanted to live now Houston has always been in my thoughts as well but after visiting Houston early COVID last year I wasn't really jacking it for real but I might give that a chance again i um, never really thought of moving to New York New York is just too fast-paced for me and I, it's too cold I just mm -mm. so anyway October 6th made it my third year in LA and it came down to me wanting to realize if I wanted to renew my lease if I wanted to um stay or relocate and it's been on my mind heavy like I haven't had my good golden year in LA yet like the first year I moved there was straight out of my mama and my daddy's house I was 19 turning 20 and I never really got to experience adulthood for real like I was just fresh out the bird's nest I didn't even party my first year in LA I was really focused on my beauty bag collabing with all the youtubers that you saw me go collab with I wasn't 21 so I wasn't going out like that and that just wasn't I wasn't going out for real so I never had the reason to go out to clubs because it just wasn't my type of thing to do like drinking and partying so like that wasn't my thing to do so you know as you guys know when me and Diamond have fell out K had moved in and when K started moving K by the way is she's like one and a half year older than me so she was kind of going out already before I started going out so when we moved together she was like oh let's go out we gotta get out we gotta go out and I'm like eh, I don't go out I don't really like to so not till like COVID after COVID hit in like um August last year that's when I finally started going out and meeting and breaking out of the just the YouTube circle as you guys know I am a rapper I'm a singer I'm an entertainer I'm an artist and you guys will see that more soon so I had to break out of just being in the YouTube circle because that vlogging stuff and, and being in everybody's videos and looking like this and that and boys videos that just wasn't my type of thing like y'all know I be in my beauty bag and I be in my creative bag you know what I'm saying so that got kind of old and it kind of shunned me away from the YouTube community a little bit because all that was around me in LA was kind of that. So, um, and then whatever happened with Diamond kind of like took me away from that circle. So I got back to just doing stuff on my own. Come the beginning of this year, you know, I got out of a relationship which really affected me and it kind of just, you know, it, it just was different for me. And then also going out for me was new, it was fresh, it was fun. So I found myself saying this year, 2021, I want to travel, I want to collaborate, I want to be in my bag, this, that, and the third. But at one point, with me being in LA and handling everything as far as like my bills, my car, you know, letting people live with me and all that stuff, I'm always carrying other people's loads on my back. So I'm never really able to comfortably be do what I want to do for myself because I'm always having people around me or always trying to help people more than I'm really focusing on myself you know what I mean so this year I'm like bro I'm over to YouTube I'm over Instagram I feel like I need a break in all my career of social media period I've never given myself a break now granted I started this in 2016 okay we are five years later okay so um I never really gave myself a break like ask my mom I'll be in the room doing my hair my wigs three in the morning never going to sleep just working 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 so this year came around April I told myself you know what I'm gonna delete the Instagram app from my phone I'm not gonna upload I'm gonna shut my business down I'm not gonna do anything I just want to give myself two weeks of a break now granted that my Instagram page was shadow banned and I feel like my YouTube was as well in a way and stuff just wasn't hitting for me so I'm going I'm going back one of my nails um, a lot of my content just wasn't hitting and it was really making me uninspired because of the algorithm or just because my page got shadow banned, reported or restricted. So it really just threw me off and bummed me out because this is something that I do put my hard work into. I'm sitting here making quality content, trying to really push my content and for it to not do good. That's going to mess with somebody's personality. That's going to mess with somebody's psyche or it's going to make them be questionable because it's like... Why is it not hitting for me? Is this what I'm really supposed to be doing? It started to make me question a lot of things. Um, so my manager suggested I take a two-week break um, to let my Instagram do what it needed to do. And in that two-week break, it turned into three weeks, it turned into four weeks, it turned into five weeks, it turned into six, seven, whatever, and on and on and on. 
So I found myself going into a darker place of just being depressed, unsure, mentally, physically, spiritually. I wasn't eating. I was going out partying, 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 not eating, which is why I noticed some of you guys said I was losing weight. And I'm drinking, I'm not sleeping, I'm partying. And I'm just, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I just wasn't realizing all the changes that were happening in my body. And it was also stress and just dep depression because I felt like I wasn't 100% happy with my career and what I was doing this year. And then, um, you know, I tried to get in the studio. I tried to be in my bag with writing and stuff like that. But for some reason, I wasn't inspired to write because I was just so sad and in a dark place. But I couldn't understand why. Like, I found myself crying, like, every other day. Like, not wanting to get out the bed. Like, bro, like, what am I doing? Like, this is not me. Like, Abby Nick, get to the money. Like, Abby be in her bag. Like, what is going on? So, it really had me very, 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 very dark. And when I noticed later on... I really noticed later on what was making me go deeper and darker into that darker place was because I wasn't doing what I loved. You know, doing hair, makeup, writing music, um, taking photos, being in front of the camera, modeling, um, acting, like just all that type of stuff is a genuine passion that's inside of me that I love doing. It wasn't something that I was doing for the buck, but living in LA with rent being... Living in LA, you cannot be lazy, okay? Uh, like I said in my post on Instagram, a little, uh, 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 some of you guys were confused. I was moving away from LA, not getting that place. The recent place that I was living in was $4,700 a month. My car payment, okay? My, my water and electric, my Wi-Fi. And realistically, for a while, it was just me carrying that load on my back. And you know, I've had roommates after roommates. Uh, I've been roommates with Paula. I've been roommates with the June boys. I've been roommates with, you know, other people. And it's like, it just was always, people wasn't holding their part of the bargain. And for me, that got stressful. It got really stressful because I wasn't able to enjoy my life or do things the way I wanted to because I had to prioritize my bills first. Now, granted, LA is very expensive and I know that now but you know I was 19 I had no blueprint on it I didn't know what I was doing so anyway back to what I was saying I'm getting in this darkest darker 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 place and I'm not realizing why and I and I'm stuck in it I'm real I'm literally stuck in it because I don't know what what, what was wrong with me I know that now but when I was in that dark place like bro I didn't even want to put makeup on I had no reason to get up like I was really in a dark place you guys just really in a dark place so, um, you know, and meeting new people around me, trying to be around these people in LA, trying to see the good in them. People just showed me their fucking ass. And that's the best way I could put it. It's so many little situations I could tell you all about. We could be sitting here for 24 hours talking about this shit. But it's like, I'm not even going to stoop down to that level. Like, I'm such a changed woman now that I'm not even going to do that. But let me tell you, people showed their ass to me. Okay? People that I have been there for, woke up 3 a.m. out my sleep for to be there for. People that I have showed up for time and time again. When it came down to the wire, showed their ass to me this year. And it's like, I've learned as a woman that you can't expect people to do what you would do for them. Or you can't expect everybody to think like you. And again, I'm, I'm growing and molding into this woman that I'm supposed to be. And I'm learning about my, um, I'm learning with my experiences every day. But it's like, damn, like that shit hurt. Like, for real. Like. You know, it just it just really be hitting different. It just really be hitting different when people that you expect to have your back for real, like really just shit on you. Okay, so all throughout the summer, all throughout that time period, I'm I'm, I'm realizing, yo, like I haven't been in my back for real. Like, don't get it twisted. A bit always got her bag right. I have my money saved and stuff like that, but I'm literally running through my bread. Like, damn, like I'm not working. So it's starting to hit me because now I'm trying to get back into my feng shui of things, but I can't because I've been broke out of it for so long. So I'm out of my routine now and I'm literally struggling and fighting to get back in my routine. But because of the people around me, I'm not able to do that. Now, granted you guys, I've never really lived by myself before. 
ever. Like, I've always had people around me. I've never really fully lived by myself and had my structure by myself, had my place to myself. I'm always carrying other people's baggage on my back. And that really made me lose myself. And I did not realize it. I've had people in my family and people around me telling me like, yo, you gotta focus on you, yo. You gotta, you can't keep doing this and that and you can't just, you. but the person that's in me, the loving person that's in me, I really be trying. If I'm in a position to help, if I'm in a higher position of the next person that's around me or my friend, my family, I got you. Like when I win, you win, you know what I'm saying? But when you keep the wrong people around you, it just, it unravels and it shows up and God don't have no choice but to show you in the most craziest way possible so you can't ignore the signs anymore. So um, uh, if you, if some of you didn't know, um, this year I had let my cousin and her boyfriend move in along with Kay. And um, me and my boo, we have been seeing each other for a while too. And he's been around and basically, you know, kind of living with me too. So it just was a lot. And again, I'm not used to having a man live with me. So that was completely different for me too, okay? And that happened pretty fast. So I have all these energies around me, new energies, new vibes that I don't understand. It's a lot of shifts and switches going on. It's a lot of weird and acting brand news going on. And it's just like... Okay, when I feel like the people that I was there for at their lowest are people that I was there for when nobody else was, when I needed them, they did it and I'm gonna get to that later. Okay, and this ain't just, this is people all around me. This ain't just singled out to anybody. This is people all around me, okay? And yeah, I had thoughts of, at first I was like, oh, I wanna stay another year in LA and really body it with knowing what I know, how people move, I wanna move how I wanna move, you know, on my shiesty Nick shit in LA, da 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 da. But you know what? I started to realize, I don't think I want to be in LA anymore. Maybe I don't want to be in LA no more. Like, it's just too much. People literally will stomp on you to get to the next level, to be around rappers, to be around like, that's, ugh, like y'all, I'm not even going to name drop and say, but I done been around your favorite rappers, all of them. They've been in my DMs, I done messed with hoo ha or whatever, I'll talk to them. And it doesn't excite me anymore. Like, it just does not excite me anymore. And I really just want to be on my me and shit. Like, I don't want no distractions. I don't want that weird-ass L.A. energy around me. Because people that aren't from L.A. come to L.A. and try to act L.A. For one. Like, first of all, the nightlife there. And again, I will go back to L.A. one day in my life. I'll get me a house in the hill somewhere, a nice aesthetically glass house in the hill somewhere. But it's like, the nightlife be too bougie. Like, people be acting too good or better than. And it's like, I love going to Miami and Atlanta where everybody just get to be themselves. You know what I'm saying? Or just a down south kind of vibe is just different. Like, no disrespect to the West Coast. Shout out to y'all. But that East Coast, that down south vibe is just a little different for one and two, okay? But anyway, back to what I was saying. I came to the realization uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I don't want to be in LA anymore. I want to save money. I want to be able to save my money, invest my money in different places. You know how many places I could have invested my money instead of LA rent? I've probably spent half. Let me see. Let me do the math. In my first year of living in LA, I spent 27000 on rent alone. Not to mention that the monthly bills probably added an, an extra $1,000. So let's do plus twelve thousand dollars almost 40k my first year in LA okay let's do the math of the second place second year all together 81,000 now this year honey is so different hold on not to mention that I had to spend about 15,000 to move into my house hold on that's already almost six figures 96,100 we're at right now that's the number we're at now hold on this year alone I spent 54,000 on rent. Since I lived in LA, I spent about $200,000 on just living. And then carrying other people's load on my back. And I mean carrying. Okay? So, I'm like, you know, I'm putting a line here. A lot of people around me started to move like, you know, that they were worried only about them and them. And, and, and that's cool. That's cool or whatever. But like I said, when you're there for people at their lowest and they do stuff like that, it's like, all right, cool. Now, granted, you guys, me going into my dark place ended up being even darker. And I 
I'm not really proud of this, but I have to be real and raw with you because you guys have been dying to know and I've been just in my A and y'all know I'm really about coming on camera honest with you guys. I have really dark suicidal thoughts. There's a lot of things that I'm going through. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I will not put out there or on camera, but I really was at the point where I had suicidal thoughts and one of those thoughts or one of those days, I really was about to do it. And it's not okay. First of all, I'm Christian and I know that that's number one straight ticket to hell. So I can't bring myself to do that or else I'm not going to lie. I probably would have did it already for as dark as I was. I wrote a note and everything. And like I said, when I entered that dark place, the people that I expected to be there for me were nowhere to be found. They proved it to me. And it's like... What more do I need to, what more do I need to see to realize that I need to remove myself and focus on myself? And that's the best way I could do it. I could give you all the details of everything that happened, but I'm not going to be messy with the people that, you know, did that weird ass. You're just not going, you're just going to see me move accordingly. Wish them the best. But that's when I realized, oh, nah, I got to get the ASAP. Like. And talking about it is kind of making me upset and emotional again when I think about the situation and I just put things into perspective because the last event happened about a week and a half, almost two weeks ago. And then just thinking about it again in a different head space and it's just like, nah, I'm not tripping for real. Like, I'm really not tripping. Like, it's just crazy. So another thing that we really revealed and my, you know, it's so crazy y'all since the pandemic has happened. I'm not going to lie. I haven't been in my prayer bag for real. I haven't been talking to God how I usually do. And I really think that the pandemic has had a huge effect on that. The devil has been way more accessible to my mental and taking me to those dark places and trying to drag me down. But let me tell you something. I have a praying family at home. I come from a praying household slash family. It's nothing but pastors and my family ministers, my mom. You know, I don't know how I turned out a little ratchet and all over the place, but my mama is a praying woman, and so is my father and my family, period. So, I feel like that's what saved me. My mom, my dad's prayers, my sister's prayer, my grandma, my, 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 my um, pastors, on, the list could go on and on, like, and I feel like that's why I'm still here today. That's why I feel like I'm still supposed to be here, because... There was a point where I told God to take me if I'm not supposed to be here and I'm still here, okay? And I know that power of that tongue is really strong, so I will not speak like that anymore. But I was that dark, you guys. I was really in that dark place. And I'm here. I'm here. And one day, one day, I was in my room and, you know, before everything kind of ended, everything blew up. Kay did tell me, like, I haven't seen you pray in a while. And I'm like, you know what? You're so right. I haven't prayed in a while. Like, she, you, she's like, yeah, I haven't seen you pray. You're the one that be telling me to pray. You need to get in your prayer. So I literally got in my room and I prayed something different than I never prayed before. But let me tell you what I prayed for. I screamed. I cried, like, on some Annalise, like, snot coming down my nose. Like, I prayed and prayed. And I told God, the main thing I told God, if I meant to be in L.A., Please make me be in L.A. If it's meant for me to not be in L.A., get me out of this place. God, whoever's not meant to be in my life, remove them to where I have no power of how you remove them. God, reveal to me what I haven't been able to see. Reveal to me what I'm blinded to, Lord God. Reveal to me what it is that I need to do. Reveal to me what I need to do to get out this funk and to get to the next chapter of my life. Get me out this door. Lord, get me out of this dark place. And let me tell y'all. And again, I can't share with details. But God just revealed to me and knocked everything like dominoes. He knocked it over to where it's like, hello. If you ignore this, then I don't know what to tell you. God, prayer. Really removed me out of that toxic situation that I would love to express to you guys but I can't because for the sake of just being a woman not trying to be messy and moving forward there are just things that happened that I would not gonna tolerate anymore there was just things people around me that I just didn't want to be around anymore you know it was just it was just a lot of stuff going on so with that being said 
LA, what's one thing you learned about LA? I learned a lot in LA. Um, I learned that I will never trust anybody fully. Always have a side eye on people. Never give your all to people. Okay, I won't stop being a good person that I am, but I'm not letting people take advantage of that anymore because that's my problem. I try to give people one, two, three, four, five, six, all these chances and not realize when to draw the line or to stop or to set a boundary. And that was my problem. So um, I learned, you know, you know, if, if you're going to live in L.A., make sure you're really well off and you really have a plan. Make sure you are, you know, in tune with prayer and God, because I do believe that there's a lot of weird, weird spirits out there. You could look on YouTube. I've seen other people say it as well. Um, it's very high priced. Just make sure you guys, you know, you're in your bag because there's no room to chill and there's no room to not. I don't feel like, no, you need to be in your bag and making sure you're doing your shit. Um, I learned, like I said, just peep, be aware. Don't be blind. Um, listen to your parents about stuff. Um, I learned to focus on you and only you at the end of the day because people are going to choose themselves. People will stomp on you to get to the next level before you. People are jealous. <laughs> and people that are jealous, only God can save them. Okay? People will not stop being jealous. If you're a constant reminder as to a reason why someone isn't what they want to be or what they are or try to be, jealousy. Jealousy gets you killed. So just make sure you pray up and tell God to remove them jealous people if you can't see it. Because let me tell you something. God did that for me. And I'm so, I feel so free. I feel like I got so much weight lifted off my shoulders. And, oh. I'm just so ready to start my life, my Abby Nicole chapter with Abby Nicole and just me. Yeah, so obviously, as you can see, my dad is praying in the background if you hear anything. But obviously, me and her are not friends anymore. I cut it off. I, I, I just, I can't give you guys the details, but I just couldn't do it anymore. I wish her the best. Um, I wish everybody that I cut off the best. Um, I'm just ready to elevate and move and be around just me and just my vibes and what I want to do. Um, I don't know if later on I'll feel comfortable telling y'all what happened or whatever the case may be, but I'm not trying to make this a whole back and forth kind of situation. I really want this to be about me, not nobody else, especially if they're not in my life anymore. So, um, but wait, oh my God, I forgot something. Oh my God, I'm running around. Basically, you guys, when I when I wrote that suicide note, um, I told and whatever happened with the people that were living in my house I texted my mom and my sister and I said I need y'all to get me out of here and guess what my mom flew in right away And my sister couldn't come because she had to be with her kids But my mom came right away helped me pack up this house. My dad came right away my um Boo and I you know we have our differences too, but he was stood right by me the three main people in my life my boo my mom my dad stayed by me and 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 my other friends helped me out shout out to them and got me out of la so right now i want to be around my family because with me going through that weird funk for this whole year four five six seven months of the year i haven't been around my family they did come to visit me back in may but i hadn't been back to orlando since april so come october the first week of October, I went to Orlando real quick to visit my family, and I just knew that it was time to leave LA. So, yeah, I called for my mama that day when I had that situation break out with the people in my crib, and um, I haven't looked back since. Um, I haven't spoke to nobody since. I don't want to speak to anybody. I'm just ready to move on. Trust me, it was that tragic of a situation to where I have to move on the way I did. And I'm happy I did because that just means that it wasn't meant for me. God would have left me in a situation if that's what it was. But I was the one, you know, kind of being in denial about it. And now that it's over, I'm so relieved and I'm happy. Um, yeah, y'all. I mean, okay, so let's talk about where I want to go next. So I did put up a poll. <laughs> you guys were talking about Houston, Miami, 
um, Atlanta. A lot of you guys really, 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 really like Atlanta for me and Houston. Comment down below if you didn't comment yet on my Instagram what you think is best for me. Um, I did want to be back home around my family. I only have one grandparent left, and that's my dad's mom. That's my baby. And make and may my other grandparents rest in heaven. So I just want to be around my nieces, my nephews. They're growing up so quick. I want to be closer to my family, not six hour flight away or five, four hour flight, whatever you want to call it. I want to be in driving distance. So I don't know. So right now, like I said, as I'm trying to figure out where I want to move, I'm going to be apartment touring in Atlanta. I'm going to be apartment touring in Houston, maybe even Miami and Orlando because I might want to get a place here too. I just want to be around genuine love. This season of my life, I've been so far away from my family and a real love that I just want to be around it. So I mean, that's pretty much it. I pretty much tackled everything that you guys asked for. Let me see what you guys asked today. If y'all had any more extra questions that I didn't touch base on. I kinda, okay. I kinda touched base on everything. Someone said, why are you always saying my house but you shared it with your best friend? Because it was really my house and I was taking care of everything. My name was on the lease. It was my house, period. Um, how you feel overall, like mentally, physically, emotionally? Now, I feel so much better again being around like genuine love, not having to worry about everything else that happened. You know, I'm just I'm just in a better space. It's still kind of, you know, a, 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 a new thing for me to get back into my swing of things, but definitely, definitely in a way better place now. Um, someone said, what's tea with you and the June boys? You know, it's so crazy. On Halloween, I went to this party and they was there and I was just talking to them, uh, talking about them um, before all this stuff broke out. And it was like, damn, like we missed them. So I said, what's up to them? It's all good vibes. Time heals all wounds. So it is what it is. Um, are you the same Abby you were six months ago or do you feel like you tra transitioned to a better you? Definitely, 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 definitely am transitioning into a better me. I have room to fix. I'm not perfect. I'm not a saint, but definitely trying to grow into a better woman. Um, someone says your definition of a good friend. A definition of a good friend is to have a friend that's not going to judge you, but is always going to keep it 100 with you and not make you feel horrible about the things that you have done. They're going to be there for you to cry, a shoulder to cry on, but not manipulate you and take advantage of you. A good friend is someone that you don't even have to talk to or be around every day but every time you talk you keep it real you catch up you talk you spread love you keep it pushing a definition of a good friend is someone that's gonna have you at your lowest someone that's gonna be there or see you and know you at your lowest someone that you can share everything with if you feel like you can't share everything with your friend I'm sorry it's probably not your real friend and that's when I started to realize that with the people I was surrounding myself this year it's like certain things I just didn't Again, you'll know. And also, really pray to God to reveal it to you because he will reveal it. Um, can you do um, come shopping with me for my new house or decorate with me? Yes, we'll be doing that. Um, da -da 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 -da. And someone made a petty comment, but I'm going to read it. You falling out with um, your um, old best friend had to be your fault because you always fall out with friends. Let me tell you something. Take it how you want it, but not everybody is like Abby Nicole. Not everybody can handle the way Abby Nicole moves. Not everybody can handle the genuineness the, and what comes with it. And not, I mean, it is what it is. I still have other friends in my life that wasn't my only friend. Um, the friends that you saw me around aren't my only friends. I still have a list of friends. It's just I, I, I need to focus on me right now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, mentally, I'm doing better. I'm around my family. I'm around the people that care about me the most. And it don't get no better than that. So let's apartment hunt. Stay tuned for the vlogs. We're going to find the new play, a new place. Having a house was just a little, ugh, it's just too much for me right now. I just want to focus on me and my little space. And then I'll extend again. And yeah, I was talking to Kiana too, to Poppy. And she was telling me that too. Like, you know, having a house is different. You got to worry about landscaping. Um, you just got to worry about so much more stuff than just an apartment. And I don't want to be that accessible anymore. I want you to have to be go through top dog security to even get to my floor. And they need to call me before you even come up. And if you don't call, you can't get up. 
bye so yeah that's pretty much it my dad is about to get into his deep prayer child so i'm not gonna keep recording over him because it's gonna you know clash with the video but i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video stay tuned for the vlogs they are all coming if they come after this video or before go check them out all that stuff and that's pretty much it i will see y'all in the next video um one more thing i wanted to talk about y'all asking me to see my boo and stuff may or may not be making in a um appearance i just don't know if i want to go about having another relationship all over social media but it's like then again it's like so what whatever like we all go through things we go through breakups and that's what makes me relatable like nothing's perfect you know but i just wanted to try something different with this relationship where i kind of not flaunt it in y'all faces you know unfortunately this is why i can't live with my parents because they have their own routine now child they closed up my closet and made it a prayer room Anyways, I'm going to let him get into his bag. I'll see you on the next one. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for being concerned and worried about me. I love y'all. I just can't wait to start this new journey. And yeah, so stay tuned. Follow me on my platforms. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you learned this year. Because 2022, something different. And I'm not going to say much. I'm going to just move and let y'all watch. Okay? Love you. Mwah. Good vlog. What's going on with you? Hey, you know what's crazy? My hair actually flourished better with conditioner in it. I told you.